Bah, bah, yeah, Koreans Prime for Steel Path and Kovaliches. Let's go. Play them all. Hello and welcome back, Hackme Gaming Zero with you with another video about a Warframe. Ladies and gentlemen, today's video is about the Corinth Prime. As you requested, you ask for it. Hank provides, like always, stay hydrated and let's hop in the game. Uh, Alright, so my friends. Corinth Prime is the uh, upgraded version of the uh, version of the normal Corinth uh, with enhanced fire rate uh, and uh, statue a chance. This weapon it deals primary uh, puncture damage as the primary fire and blast as on elite's uh, alt fire okay the multi shot of uh, six uh, pellets uh, and so on the advantages of this uh, weapon have uh, a very high uh, statue chance uh, uh, and critical chance and critical uh, multiplier the statue chance is good but it's not so so high it's just overall and so on the disadvantages of this weapon it like have a linear damage to fall off from 100% but we're gonna fix that uh, and the grenades only explodes in mid air doesn't explode if it hits the surface of an enemy so you need to do that uh, detonate do 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 <laughs> you need to detonate the uh, stuff so how to use the weapon is very simple uh, come on you're gonna show us how to use the uh, korean dude it's just like pop, pop, pop. yeah i know but there is a way to do this uh, thing so Remember the middle mouse that gives you the heavy attack? Like, you know, that's that's how you do it. So, same thing. So, you throw... This is the normal bullets. Boom. Boom. Okay? There you go. Like this. Right? Click. This is just a click. Aim. Click. Whatever. Alright? So, if you want to use the explosion part of this weapon, which is this one. You see that? It doesn't explode. Why? Because you need to hit again. You know, the the mid, the button in the roll, you know, like when you do heavy attacks. So you go, kaboom, hold on, let's <laughs> need to reload, right? <laughs> so, and boom, explode. There you go, right on these mobs. You see that? It doesn't do, oh, there you go, that's one. I mean, I wouldn't advise you use this weapon as the detonate part, but I'm just showing you. The weapon, how it functions, right? There you go. There you go. There you go. Yo, oh my god, orange crit. Yeah, but uh, no. Right? So, there we go. So, now I'm gonna show you how we're gonna use the weapon. We're gonna use the weapon as its primary fire, not the alt fire, the explosion. So, there you go. Kaboom, one shot, one shot, one shot, one shot. This is a level 175 heavy corrupted gunners, my friend. And we're not joking here. So, there you go. Kaboom. Boom, easy, easy, my friend. There you go, reload. The reload speed, you need to give it uh, some time because the reload is not so good in this weapon. But it's a shotgun, guys, so you don't need to complain so much. And remember, now we're gonna. This weapon is so good against uh, Kuva Liches and Steel Path. But, but, my friend, listen to me very carefully. If you're going against level 3, 4, 5 Lich, remember no weapon like gonna do so good okay so remember that very well this weapon can one shot kuvalic level one kuvalic level two you're gonna one shot him aim in the head he's done he's gone but because if you pass level two of kuvalic like i mean you are kind of you know you need to try different methods of combining the stuff last time i did the level four kuvalic and it gives me very hard time even with my loadout so one shotting this weapon can one shot uh kuvalic is one two or sister it doesn't matter and Steel path, so yeah. So where we're we gonna go now? We're gonna go to steel path, uh, my friend. All right. For the players that doesn't know what is steel path is, steel path is the second star shard in Warframe. So what you have to do, my friend, is very simple. You finish all the nodes and all the missions in your star shard. It is Pluto, Neptune, uh, Uranus, Saturn, Venus, all of them. You finish, and then you finish the quest, the Angelus of the Zariman, and you unlock the Zariman because now it's a new condition for Warframe to unlock. And then you're gonna have the steel path. Steel Path gonna be enemy level plus 100, health and shield and armor 250%, a resource drop chance 100%, and mod drop chance 100%. So, yeah, where we're we gonna go? We're gonna go to the void mode, which is like kind of the end game mobs right now in the game, and so ever. So, let's go. Oh, here we are around the Steel Path. Uh, hello, Tishin. I'm not gonna tell you why Tishin looks like that, because you need to figure it by yourself, because I don't know what uh, your progress in the game. So, here we go, my friend. So, we're gonna get some stacks for uh, Nidus. And from there, we keep going. There we go.
All right. As you can see, the weapon is killing them, guys. Oh my, they're a lot in one pack. There you go. Now, you need to remember, this is a shotgun. It's a not AOE weapon. So you cannot expect this weapon to clear all the uh, mobs at once. All right? You can use the alt fire if you really want to. All right? But I wouldn't advise. What I'm trying to tell you here is this weapon kills. But how you maintain your life support, that's totally up to you. And uh, I mainly use this weapon now thanks to to uh, Tori, Tora. Uh, Tora suggested for me to make the build for the Kuva Liches. So I have to mention the guy. And uh, I started using, I was using before Kuva Com. I was using any weapon really to kill the Kuva. But they said to me, hey, make us a build about uh, Corinth. So I got to give the guy a credit for uh, mentioning that. So th the video was his suggestion. So there you go. So technically, that's what you're gonna keep doing. You're gonna keep killing them. If you want, you can bring a wee weapon to give it here and there some uh, for some uh, like uh, life uh, support stuff. But of course, you can use it in defense missions. You can use it in uh, in a disruption. Something doesn't require you to kill a lot like at once. But sometimes you can use the alt fire. Some uh, detonations. There you go. It's not so bad. It is good, but. Um, it has a problem that it doesn't do so high damage and it's kind of slow, guys. It doesn't explode on, uh, like, uh, impact with the, with the target. So, you need it's like waste a lot of time making you uh, figure when to detonate it. But in a, it's an option if you want to train yourself uh, using it. You see? There you go. I mean, you can throw punch through in this weapon if you get a ribbon. This build is without a ribbon. And the reason I'm using Nidus, guys, so many of you know this, but maybe new tennis doesn't know this. So I'm using Nidus so I don't boost the weapon in any way, guys. I don't want to boost the weapon in any way. Means you got, you can use any frame you desire. You can use Titania. You can use uh, anything, my friend, you want to use. The reason for that is if I use a frame, for example, with Eclipse, let's say I use Mirage, right, with Eclipse, with 600 or 700 or whatever, uh, Eclipse power, right, and the weapon is so boosted, and you're gonna see as you, wow, oh my god, and then you go build the weapon, right, and you see, oh, what, the weapon is not doing the same damage as Hung, what is this build, so, you're gonna be surprised, so I think, ah, it's a build requiring me to have Mirage, but I don't wanna play with Mirage, right, so, you're saying, ah, no, I'm not gonna do this build, so, I'm using Nidus, so my friend, you don't need to worry, you can use any frame you want, if you want to use frames that boost damage, go ahead, it's gonna make the weapon even better, I'm not even using Ogum, like uh, Aura mod, oh my god, we're getting a lot of Argon crystals guys, 6 already, that's perfect, yeah, that's awesome, my helm is uh, gonna be so happy, alright, so, yeah. Use any frame you really want. The modding is not so hard for this weapon. There is no Riven. So the ones that scared always from, oh my god, I need a Riven. This weapon killing good and still path. And so, no, you don't need the Riven, my friend. So I think about you, my dear newbie Thanos. There you go. The newbies that doesn't know anything in the game. The newbies that just joined the game and they like the weapon and so on. Newbies, not noobs. Newbies, guys. I know you heard me right, I know, I know. I'm just clearing that because maybe it's not, oh, this guy making builds are calling us noobs now, what the heck? No, no, newbie, new, new players in the game. There we go. So now we're gonna have Tormenta. Hello, my friend Tormenta, where are you? Come here. Alright, let's, let's test, right? There we go. Okay, the shield is gone. Come here, where you go? Where are you running from me, dude? There you go. Up! Oh, and... What is it? And he's dead. Okay? Simple as that. We're gonna stay here for 30 seconds only. Alright? And then we're going to extract, my friend. The weapon is very good. I highly recommend this weapon to use and enjoy its very awesome weapon. And as I mentioned, guys, this weapon is based... I'm using it. I don't use it so much in Steel Path. Let me be honest with you. I'm just bringing it here for a test. So you see how powerful this weapon is, okay? So I use it for Kuva uh, Liches farm, okay? Uh, I used to use a lot of uh, like uh, Kuva Com, but yeah. So it's gonna be another build for Kuva Com 
like Thanos who likes Kuva Comp. And you're saying, so why why are you making uh, different weapons, Hank? Why don't just you give us the weapons that's good for this and that? No, because Warframe is not as simple as that. Warframe, my friend, there is a lot of players likes different weapons. There is players like Koreans, so I need to give them Koreans. Players like uh, Kuva Comp, I need to give them Kuva Comp. Players like Arca Plasma, every player have its own taste. And me, as a content creator, I need to provide you guys with all the builds for every single weapon so yeah so we got six argon crystals blah 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 blah, and so on and now it is time for the build so let's check the build and how we made that happen right so let's go first of all we're gonna start with panzer Popafila, my friend Pan panzer Popafila, if you don't know how to get the pet you're gonna find the link up there it's gonna pop up how to get the panzer we'll just click that put it in the second window so you can go check how to get the panzer Popafila. the reason we're using this panzer Popafila it's proking viral for us Okay, it uh, keeps you alive, it fetch for you, it do it all. This is the best pet in the game for end game survival endurance uh, endurance runs. All right, so let's go. Uh, Nidus Prime, Nidus Prime, we're using so swift momentum, heavy attack. I didn't use the corrosive projection, my friends. I kept it like that so you can use whatever you want in the aura mode. But we're using arcane tempo on critical hit, 15% chance for 90% fire rate of shotguns, 12 seconds. The arcane acceleration doesn't work on a shotgun as it's uh, excluded what is it acceleration uh, acceleration here you go you see this 30 percent chance for 90 percent fire rate to primary weapons excluded shotgun for nine seconds so in case you're low shotguns and your main weapons is shotguns don't get ac acceleration my friend you need it to have it you need to have it in your arsenal right but you don't you don't get it if you just get in it for a shotgun it excludes shotgun so you need to get the arcane tempo i don't know why they did this I have no idea. They should keep it one and make it easier and so on. So, Arcane Rage uh, on Headshot, 15% chance for 180% damage to primary weapons for 24 seconds. It doesn't exclude uh, shotguns, so you're ready uh, to go. Okay, moving next. So, this is the build for Corinth. We're using Prime Point Blank, 165% damage. Vigilante Armenta for 60% multi shot, 20% chance to enhance critical hits from primary weapons. Shotgun Spaz. Uh, 90% fire rate to repair the critical declaration. I'm gonna go to that in a second. Prime charge chair for electricity. Prime dravage for 100% uh, critical damage. Critical de uh, declaration for 200% critical chance minus uh, like 20% fire rate. We repaired it with a uh, shotgun spas, so you have like 70% fire rate free. Galvanized hell for multi shot and 27% multi shot for 20 seconds, stacks up to four times. That's around 100. Toxic Barrage for Toxin and Statue a chance, so you're good to go. So, Galvanize Acceleration for Projectile Speed and Beam Length. We don't use Beam, so we're using Projectile. 30% proje on kill, 30% Projectile Speed uh, Length. Stacks up to two times, that's 60% extra, so total of 90%. Uh, so, we're not using any Riven here, but what if you don't have these mods? Okay, so let's start. If you don't have Prime Point Blank, you can use Normal Point Blank, okay? So I don't want to freak you out. Oh, this is Prime Mods. Okay, no, 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 no. If you don't have Prime, there you go. Kaboom. Use Prime Point Blank. If you don't have Vigilante Armand, you need to get Vigilante Armand. Vigilante Armand is something you need to have. Shotgun Spaz, easy. No problem. Prime ch Charge Shell, if you don't have that, you can get the normal Charge Shell and put it through there. Everyone have that, okay? If you don't have Prime Ravage, you can use the normal Ravage. There you go. Kaboom. Easy peasy. Okay, if you don't have arcane uh, critical declaration, you can use the uh, where is it? Uh, where is it? Where is it? You can use the uh, blender uh, boost. There you go. You can use this one instead. Okay, that's totally uh, up to you. So if you don't have galvanized hell, you can use uh, uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? You can use hell chamber. Okay, there you go. Toxic barrage is something you need to have and you must have. If you don't have galvanized acceleration. You can use the fatal uh, acceleration and you're ready to go so now primary deadhead if you don't like primary deadhead the primary deadhead what it does is 120 percent damage for 24 seconds stacks up to three times that's 360 percent on headshot kill 30 percent to headshot multiplier and minus 30 percent weapon recoil if you don't like that you can use primary merciless and you're ready to go primary merciless 30 percent damage for four seconds stacks up to 12 times which is 360 percent again 30% reload speed, you really need reload speed in this weapon, and 100% ammo maximum, which is uh, perfect, okay? So, 
But because if you use it in normal missions like Steel Path and everything, use uh, uh, primary Mercilize. If you're going for Leeches, use a primary Deadhead. Because I use this weapon for Leeches, I'm gonna name the weapon uh, Leech. I almost right Leech. <laughs> Okay, you get the idea. There you go. So, yeah. So, uh, Nuker and Glaive, they are there as a backup. Okay, so Glaive is a good weapon to take. You can use Bala with the Oxidic Antigone. You can use any weapon that you really like. Just if you go into Endurance runs and so on. But that's totally uh, up to you. Naromon is just there for nothing. Parazon built. I'm joking, guys. Okay, if you like my uh, Nidus uh, fashion frame, you can find it on the channel. I have a full, uh, like... Uh, like a whole series of fashion uh, frames in, in in the channel and we are live uh, streaming my friend uh, day after day so today is the video tomorrow is gonna be a live stream uh, don't hesitate to hop in say hi and so on come hang out and so on we have a discord link on the description if you really join us in discord we have memes we have clips we have uh, like uh, we talk about things riven you can sell your riven ask about your riven and so ever recommend like let me know what is the next build you'd like to see i have a full list this is we call it in the stream the thanos uh, paper of uh, builds uh, so guys thank you so much for your amazing support it means the world to me stay safe and 